VSR June 2024 release contains a number of great new features to help the virtual pilot get the most out of their flying experience on VATSIM and beyond. Previously, pre-departure clearances were only available via VATSIM direct messages, now we have added CPDLC capabilities using Hoppy's ACARS network. You need to register for a ACARS logon code on Hoppy's site. You then enter the code that you receive in the VSR config settings panel. Having entered this, you will see the ACARS polling icon on the top bar. Before you send a PDC request, you need to have loaded a flight plan from either VATSIM or SIM brief. The PDC form can now be completed, you need to add the ATIS and your stand, you can edit your off-block time and send some additional text. This is a test station, obviously check and enter the ACARS CDPLC station identifier being used. Once you request a PDC, the system will confirm the PDC content to be sent. Then confirm it has been received by the network. Note. This does not mean it has been received by the destination station. Note that the ACARS polling icon is now green, this means that VSR will poll the network for a message, it may take a few minutes for a message to be received. The first CDPLC message in blue is a standby or acknowledgement, this is optional by the receiving station. After a while we get our PDC, we can click to expand and check the contents. Depending on our workflow, we can set the transponder with a click and also tune the radio to the indicated frequency. Once we can accept the PDC we can click Wilco to send a response. Note the message table confirms the actions. We've added a shortcut to send a query via a VATSIM message to check if a controller can provide a PDC for your location. There are now a number of message types. We have added a facility to filter the table. The messages are still in the table but not shown, so you can filter only those you need to see at that time. We recommend leaving VATSIM direct and network messages on at all times when you are on the VATSIM network. The bottom right trash icon will delete all messages except direct, network VATSIM and ACARS messages. All messages are now saved on the server, so when you reload VSR they are persisted. However you can purge this message store using the purge message option. We've introduced a feature where you can click on a given pressure setting and set your altimeter. This can be done from Meter, ATIS and direct messages. Note the feature ensures you check the value before committing the setting. You can also set standard pressure using the gauge icon on the bottom right icon menu. Beyond ATC connected. We've added a Beyond ATC log parser to show messages from their session in VR. It's highly experimental and could break at any time. We can change frequencies and transponders with a click just like any other message. Golf November Golf Bravo India. Request IFR clearance to Rotterdam Airport. Golf November Golf Bravo India South End Tower. Expect runway 23. Climb 6,000 feet on runway center line, then expect radar vectors Clacton VOR. Squawk 2606. Expect runway 23. Climb 6,000 feet on runway center line, then expect radar vectors Clacton VOR. Squawk 2606. Golf November Golf Bravo India. Golf November Golf Bravo India, read back correct. Call me back when ready for start or taxi. Roger that, Golf November Golf Bravo India. We've incorporated approach map data from the SEMAWARE Traken project. There is a new search feature, it uses the full keyboard and has more options. Auto suggestion now completes on name or IKO. You can pre fill with the nearest airport or airports from your flight plan. You can get information on your selected airport. Airport info, including any VATSIM stations online. Weather for stations without an ATIS. Maps and traffic, this is a busy Brussels, and information about runway conditions including crosswinds. You can search for flights, airports and pilots, here are flights in and out of Brussels. This release also has a number of fixes for virtual reality zooming. You no longer need to set the default zoom the same as the VR zoom, it can be set back to a value of 1. There is an option under the tools menu to reset the zoom settings.
We have also fixed the map zoom using a mouse scroll wheel. It now zooms to where you are pointing. There is also an option to zoom or decrease map zoom independently of the rest of the UI. Don't forget to check out the Discord channel.